In the previous video, we talked about starting a new project, created a custom user model and deployed the app. Before we move any further, I want to talk about hygiene of the project structure. I'm building apps with Django for 15 years. During this time I have created and seen numerous projects and had enough time to try different approaches to project layout. Every project starts very simple. You create a first app, you add it to settings by to install the apps, you go to models, you create some models for your application, then you add some views, then you add some more, some more, and after a year, you can't recognize your own project because it grew very huge. Next logical move is to start splitting the project into multiple apps. Apps will be named according to the main area of their concern, like customers, products, orders, support and so on. In theory, each app gets their subpath in URL spy and we have smaller files. The project seems to be easier to navigate, everything seems to be in somewhat order. Here I want to make a note that it's tough to move models between apps. So when problem with lengthy files arises, model spy in the initial app often stays as is, and the only new models find their new homes in new apps. So the problem is not solved. Team just agrees not to add more to that long file. This solution has a number of downsides, but quite frankly, very little upsides. All parts of the project are still tightly coupled. Models refer to each other, views link to each other. There are plenty of views that don't use only models from their own app. It's hard to decide where to put new model or view if it depends on models from several other apps. Sooner or later you will find yourself fighting with the self-imposed rules of separation of concerns and start breaking them because it's simply impossible to follow them to start with. Eventually you realize that you haven't separated anything, just added more files and folders. Next problem. It is not an easy process to delete an app from a Django project if it has models that have relations to other models in the project. The application in question will stay in the history of migrations in other apps. So deleting such app in this case is not impossible, but tricky. To summarize this approach, you will likely to stay with one app with huge files, add more apps with smaller files, creating even bigger mess without any benefits. Now let's see how you can put things in order within one app. Create models package and Python files within it. Move each model in its own file, or group several models per file if you want to group them by topic or area. In foreign keys you have to use string to point to another model since it's not present in the same file anymore. In the init file of the package import all models and pass their names into the all list. When everything is imported from this package with from asterisk import only things listed in the all list will be imported. Now let's create and apply migrations as usual. Similarly, create the views package. I prefer to group views in files by model they use or a topic. In PyCharm there is an awesome refactoring feature that moves definitions to another file while also correcting import statements.
In the views init file, similar to models, import views from the files and put them into the all list. Let's create urls.py file in our app and include it into the project's urls.py. Now list all the views in the urls.py. You can also split lengthy urls.py if you want but I don't find it convenient. Delete the views.py file. Similar to what we did to models and views, you can also do to admin.py. Create the admin package and Python files inside of it. I recommend naming files here same way as you did in models package to avoid any confusion. In the init file, you don't have to list anything in the all list because you won't be importing anything from the admin package. Now let's create the templates folder in the root of the project and configure it in templates object in settings.py. Marking directory as template root helps PyCharm check path's existence and faster create missing files. Now I want to show you my preferred template structure. The base.html in the root of templates directory so we can override it for all templates which extend it across all libraries in the project. The base.html in the app directory which extends the root one. And then all templates of the app extend from apps base.html. All this is done to have consistent template blocks and control over included static files like styles and JavaScript files. Here is just an example of how a given views template might look like and how it fits into the structure. Static directory will be in the app directory. Mark it as a resource root in PyCharm for autocompletion and path checking. It comes very handy in templates when referring to static files. Lastly, tests package goes into the root of the project, but we won't be talking about tests in this video. This concludes our video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.